bring in UBS analyst Dennis Geiger, who has a 305 price target on the stock. Dennis, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Great. Thanks for having me. So give us some context here. If things are going so great for McDonald's, why are they laying off so many people and doing all this restructuring? Yeah, so I think this has been the plan, right, to sort of make some adjustments where there are redundancies, allow the, the company to sort of move faster, move with, with greater urgency, and be able to reinvest some of those some of those redundancies to accelerate growth going forward. So I think that's the, that's the plan, that's the strategy that you're seeing here. And I think they're not resting on their laurels, right? It's been a, a terrific last several years from a growth perspective. And I think they're continuing to push that envelope and accelerate growth going forward over the next several years. So is it proactive, in other words? Most people, if their stock is sitting at all-time highs, just sit pretty. I mean, why, why do you think they're undertaking all of this now? Yeah, I think we're going to hear more details at, uh, at an investor event later on in, in 2023, where they're going to lay out the plan to reaccelerate or to accelerate global store growth, which is already at about three and a half to four percent as a target. I think we're going to go higher than that. And I think you're going to see some, some headcount in areas that allow them to accelerate that store growth, both in the U.S. as well as globally. And I think you're seeing some of those moves on April 3rd, where they look to kind of, you know, go from a more of a regional model to more of a centralized model. And I think that's worked in, in recent years as, as, as the company has made some of those decisions. So look for that growth to accelerate, and we'll get more details on that over the coming months. How important do you think the use of mobile devices is for McDonald's in powering that same store sales growth. And I noticed one thing in there, that they're now going to be able to know when you get within sort of three minutes of the location where your pickup is going to be, mm. they're going to be able to, bang, have it really ready for you when you get there. That does feel really smart. Yeah, look, digital and, and mobile has been huge, both in the U.S. and on a global basis. Uh, you know, some of the top markets, over 30 percent of sales are digital at, at this point, has been huge for the U.S. You talk about that ready on arrival initiative that's starting to roll out across the U.S. and will do so over the first half of 2023. That's going to increase the customer experience. Now we can order Instead of getting there and pushing a button to start the order, we'll get there and the food will be ready for you. So it's going to really enhance the customer experience and it's going to improve operations and improve throughput, which should help with traffic and sales. So we see this as a win-win. We like McDonald's focus and investment on digital and technology, and we think you're going to see a lot more of this over the coming quarters and coming years. What's the context here, Dennis, across your coverage universe? You have a lot of the names in fast casual, fast food. Would you say the McDonald's is a standout, or how is the rest of the space doing? Yeah, McDonald's, from a fundamental perspective and from a stock perspective over the last few years, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a, a better restaurant from a growth perspective, from a consistency perspective, and, and from a stock perspective. And I think McDonald's, we continue to like it. We think it continues to work as a defensive name in, in a tough macro, but one that also allows you to play offense, given the growth that we're talking about and given the potential to accelerate that growth. So we like McDonald's, continue to like it from here, even at, at or near all-time highs. We like Yum a lot, another defensive, high-quality name that's maybe got a little more valuation upside. And Chipotle is another one that we really like a lot. Sales momentum looks strong. Unit growth lo lo looks compelling. And, and, and we think margins are going to look better over the balance of this year into next. So those are three higher-quality names with a little bit more of a defensive skew for several of them that should work well in this environment, we think. 